Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Athena. And if you're new here, you can call me Acha. I create tech content videos. I do vlogging. And today, I'm going to share with you why I chose a career in tech. First thing, I chose computer science as my bachelor's degree in college. I still, up to this day, don't know what career specific career path I want to take. And when I chose computer science, it was because I specifically didn't have an idea or of what I wanted to become in the future. My mother graduated with a computer science degree and I also attended the same university as she did. So that's why I took computer science. I see how she worked here in the States. I'm currently based in California and I imagine myself working in front of a computer. I know that sounds boring and I also love to do paperwork. Back in the day, everything now is digitalized. So that's why I took computer science. So learning computer science, I'm able to learn different fundamental courses about information technology and of course computer science. And when I was in third year college, I get to learn more about information security. So that's the time when I had more interest in learning about it, cybersecurity. And we had one subject wherein I thought I was about to fail, but I persevered because I was so interested in learning it and I aced that course. So that started my interest in learning or exploring the field of information security. And during that pandemic, everyone didn't have any motivation or perception of what the future will be, especially professionals in the industry are losing their jobs. As a computer science student myself, I almost felt the same way wherein I felt no direction on what my career will be in the future. But however, with the community, I was given the opportunity to start my career even during the pandemic. And that's how I got my first job. So as a computer science student, we were given an activity, a program outreach activity to create tutorial videos that would help out of school youth to be able to learn even if they're not in school anymore. So that's when I started to not only just create a video and upload it on YouTube, but I instead created or started a workshop. So I started to conduct three workshops, web development, information security, and database systems so that I would be able to have the workshop live with the participants and to also be able to answer their questions live during that day. And with that, I shared it with the community and it also gave me a, an opportunity to share more of the free resources that we have learning about computer science and tech. And that's when a university invited me to become a public speaker and talk about database systems, specifically introduction to SQL. And with that, the following year, I was invited by a recruitment company based in Australia to talk about front-end development. I took the risk because I was still a computer science student. I am not a developer. I'm not a front-end developer. But they saw how I am passionate in sharing the knowledge and content about tech on YouTube, on the platform, and also to share it across the community. And I accepted the invitation to talk about front-end development, specifically Figma, and that's where I got my first job without applying. Before we went live on February 2021, I was being interviewed on the spot by their CEO. And one of the questions that he asked is, how do you see yourself in five years? So being a student, I was honest. I said, honestly, I don't know. But of course, I explained that during that time, I felt hopeless because the professionals are losing their jobs. A lot of layoffs are, layoffs are happening. And I explained to him why I feel discouraged if there's still a possibility for me to have a career in tech. And after a few more questions, the only words that I heard was, you're hired. The following week, I started my job as a social media specialist. And then from there, I was a working student when I was in third year college and then I was also given an opportunity to work for an education technology company as a technical community manager. From that experience, I noticed how powerful the community has been supporting me and also sharing the knowledge of helping others be inspired and empowered to pursue a career in technology. While working as a social media specialist and technical community manager, I was still pursuing 
different talks and speaking engagements with universities, sharing my knowledge and expertise when it comes to web development, web design, information security, and I was also given the chance to participate as a mentor in hackathons. And with that, that definitely helped me learn from different experts and industry leaders and also that gave me an opportunity to be accepted. I didn't have an internship when I was in college because I was already working as an application analyst. So from a social media specialist, I become an IT support associate and then I become an application analyst within that same company. And from there, I migrated here in the US before I graduate. I started my first job here as a technical support agent. And then the following months, I become a technical support specialist. So that is my career progression in two years. Definitely, I don't regret choosing a career or starting or having my degree in tech, specifically computer science. And up to this day, I still don't know what specific career path that I want, but because of the community, I didn't realize that I am able to become or have the capability to become a public speaker speaking in front of you guys. Fun fact, the only internship that I had was an HR assistant when I was in senior high school, but when I was in senior high school, I took Tech Voc ICT. What I would suggest or advise to other people who are taking their internships in college is to always do their best and show that they're always eager to learn and that they're interested to help the company improve certain processes or especially provide ideas or tools for automation that they can use. And would that would give you an advantage to be able to be absorbed in the company or give you good credentials that you can put in your resume that even as an intern you were able to help company ABC add more value by increasing something something like that statistics or numbers are really important that would help you stand out from other competitors when especially when you're looking for a job so I hope you get that internship if you're looking for one. And if you're looking for a job, definitely ask help from the community on how you can improve or build your resume. Always keep on creating personal projects. If you're a developer, don't forget to always update your portfolio and highlight your best projects that you have created. There's a lot of opportunities not only developer roles in tech but we also have community managers we also have sp social media specialists digital artists search engine optimization specialists the possibilities are endless and i hope you'd be able to get that internship or job soon and if you're watching this and still undecided what career path to take in tech because it's so vast, there's a lot of opportunities in tech and I definitely encourage you to keep attending different tech events, network with other people, share all the knowledge that you have, do uh, conduct peer mentoring, ask for a mentor. There'll, there are a lot of approachable mentors that you can reach out to and they would be able to, they would happily help you. Always engage and actively participate in different tech communities. We have general tech communities, communities for students, communities for professionals, communities for developers, mobile game, and web. And we also have different programmer communities, cybersecurity um, community that you are very welcome to join in. And this is where I started my branding as Acha Abe in the tech community with the saying, help me help you. You wouldn't also be able to help other people if you don't know how to help yourself. And always invest in upskilling and learning because everything in technology, it's always evolving. It's always changing. The only thing we can do as tech students and tech professionals is to adapt to it. Adaptability is a very great asset, especially if you're building your career in technology never stop learning always go outside of your comfort zone 
think outside the box, always be open to learning new ideas, sharing them, learning from each other, supporting each other. And I hope you keep going. If you're, you're feeling that you're in a roadblock right now, definitely ask for help or guidance from the community. It's really powerful and it gives us a lot of encouragement to continue what we want to pursue. And again, and if you don't know what specific career path you want to take, I highly encourage you to just explore different fields in tech and eventually you'll be able to find the career path for you. A lot of opportunities as long as you keep on upskilling until you narrow it down. And I wish you the best of luck and keep on attending events, being active, networking, connect with other people. You'll never know that the next person you bumped into will give you the opportunity of a lifetime. So thank you for your time watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!